What kind of games do children play today? Video games. Well, a lot depends on where the children live, what country they come from. And there was a time when growing up that children could play outside under the light of a street lamp and go in once they heard a parent call, come on home. Not anymore in some places, given the concern that parents have for the safety of their children. What kind of games did children play in the first century Palestine when Jesus walked the earth? Two are mentioned in the Gospel today, and they imitated adult activity. Children play funeral and wedding. Yes, funeral and wedding. When Jesus said the flute was played and you did not dance, he was referring to a wedding. When a dirge was sung, you did not weep, he was referring to a funeral. What did Jesus have in mind in telling us about these two games that children played in his day? He was describing the criticism that people were making about him and John the Baptist. People could find nothing good to say about either Jesus or John. In their criticism of Jesus and John, they were acting like spoiled children. Children who sat in the marketplace and called out to one another. In their minds, Jesus represented the wedding. He loved the party, made sure there was enough wine, but he invited the wrong kind of guests to that wedding. You heard. He invited misfits, losers. John the Baptist was the funeral, the dirge. Too serious, too somber, severe. What he had to offer was not enough. What games do adults play today with religion, with our religious leaders? As I visit and celebrate Mass in communities where churches were, have closed because of a lack of priests or shrinking congregations, I'll hear complaints about the bishop. He closed our church. He won't get another cent from me. Why did he close a church? Well, yes, it was a warm community, but people knew one another, but they no longer celebrated First Communions. They didn't have confirmations. They didn't have the RCIA. They were a nice, comfortable club. Or I'll hear, why isn't a priest at wakes anymore? Because the priest now is responsible for four churches and not just one. I don't know, I just went through this. And I had this wonderful experience of these bereavement committees that parishes now have. They do all the work, contact the family, arrange the music, arrange the readings. Phenomenal to see the laity exercising their ministries. Sadly, there'll always be people who will continue to play funeral and wedding, finding fault, people who threaten that unless things change and go their way, like children, they'll pick up their ball and go home. We're not a church of winners and losers. In the words of St. Paul to Timothy today, we are members of the household of God the church of the living God. And along with Jesus and St. Paul, they're simply reminding us that our behavior should be that of adults and not spoiled children.